Incidentally, Isabel, I've noticed some exhaustion in your magic. Why might that be? Did something happen while I was away? I'm not quite sure how to explain, but this odd man appeared and I fought him. Hmm... Odd man? Yes, there was something gloomy about him. And he had a sort of monstrous presence. Ah, that must be Nicola Adele. You know him then? He's known to all. That man is worthy of being named in the same breath as the Magus Covenant. Here, to the left, Isabel. Got it. In that case, he must be a guild leader, too. That's correct. Our tastes, however, are a bit different. The Order of Blade Rites has several hundred members and Eskimali, 50. The membership numbers of Counter Solari are unknown, and the Magus Covenant is composed of 30-some members. The Forbidden Guild Nicola Adele, on the other hand, is made up of but a single person. That is to say that he is the Guild Marshal and the very Guild itself. Is that even possible? Certainly it seems ridiculous, but there's no denying that it's fact. His single-handed power is comparable to that of any of the other four guilds. That means, however, that my interest in you grows only greater. To think that you could fight against Nicola Adele without suffering any serious wounds. He didn't seem to be very passionate. That's how he always is. He is uncombative, and yet he destroys. It's for that reason that he's referred to as Forbidden, as the one who must not be disturbed. Ah, oh, a magical life form! You're quick on the uptake! This is yet another piece of the Magus Covenant's wisdom, but there's no reason for concern. This beast wouldn't simply go on a rampage for no reason. And I have a guest. Prepare to welcome her. Welcome back, Eleanor. The preparations are already complete. Very well. Do you dislike tea, Isabel? It's not as if it makes a difference if you do, but nonetheless... You don't need to ask, then. Tea will be fine. Point taken. I will accompany the guest. The rest I'll leave to you. Very well, ma'am. Please, make yourself at home. We will be proceeding with the magical experiments. This lab is huge, but it's so well put together. Almost everything here seems new. A messy environment causes needless delays with the experiments. Only in the proper soil can the flowers of research bloom. Ah, please have a seat there. Thank you. Sugar? I'm fine. There's no need to hold back. Sprinkle it in and gulp it up. This sugar is all stuck together. You're certainly very picky. Allow me to ask you once again, Isabel, how you came to this world. Hmm, the Keeper Nexus and a world put to sleep. In order to revive our world, we hunted down Nexus and jumped to this world. So, is Nexus here? No, there's no way that she could be. According to what you've said, Nexus is incapable of disguising herself as a common person. Yes, unless, that is, she has some sort of power that we don't know about. Then perhaps you should jump to the next world. You don't have any use for this one. That's not exactly right. It seems that there are lessons for me to learn here, and I still haven't managed to reunite with the others. You all wanted to cross together, even though your goals and ideas were different? About that. What name did you have for that again? Ah, uh, friendship. Oh, or was it trust? <laughs> it seems like an inefficient way of doing things. <sighs> to meet me at a time such as this was truly a stroke of good fortune for you. If that bunch had picked you up, you'd be in no position to be thinking about Nexus now. What are you talking about? The drums of war have been beating in this land of late. If you'd joined any guild other than the Magus Covenant, you'd have been swept up into combat. War? 
Are you shipping out again, Kyle? It's dangerous. You could die. Sorry, Isabel, but my comrades are fighting out there. I need to be there with them. Why? What for? It's hard to say, but the preparations are already underway. Fortunately, we're not involved, so there's nothing to concern yourself with. <sighs> I beg your pardon for the intrusion. We have a visitor, Eleanor. How would you like me to proceed? Who is it? Eskimali? Precisely. Let them in. The guest and I will take care of them. I come to you as the scales of balance. I do hope you're well, Eleanor Gloria. Unfortunately, you've ruined my mood at this very moment. I'm here on an investigation initiated by the Order of Blade Rites. Please, allow me to ask you two or three questions. No. As you can see, I'm in the middle of tea. If there's something you'd like to ask, Isabel will answer you. Me? Yeah, but keep quiet and answer him with magic. I... I don't have any intention to fight. Very well. Let the inquiry begin. Huh? I saw what you were capable of doing. But I need some sort of objective proof. And besides, I'm enjoying my tea. This is you, Isabel. Oh, really now? If I do this, it'll be enough, right? Yes, that's all you need to do. Seeing that you're now a member of the Magus Covenant, I hope that you won't embarrass us in battle. Allow me to ask you some questions. For the balance of his Sunia. Perfect on you! 
Troubling indeed. Yeah, you win some, you lose. Impressive. Place your faith in my blade. Conserving waters, sustain me. You don't so Huh, had enough yet? over. I don't know what you're thinking, but it's time to quit. You're right. But I don't know how I'm going to face Marlone after this. Tell him that we're not responsible, and neither are the Order of Blade Rights. It was all a simple accident. If there's a price that must be paid for the accident, the Magus Covenant will pay in the form of a donation. All right. In that case, there's no issue. Now scram. Yes, I shall. I'll smooth things out with the Order of Blade Right, so you needn't worry. My, oh my. They never just get to the point. Who was that, anyway? Hmm? Oh, it was Eskamali. They're the mediators and liaisons for guilds. Conflicts between guilds are controlled and managed by Eskamali, at least on the surface. As a matter of fact, they're not much more than extortionists. When anything happens, they look for someone to take responsibility and then demand a donation to pay for the loss. Things are set up so that the more conflicts there are between guilds, the richer they get. They're an irritating bunch who like to call themselves the Guild of Regulation. Then why did you make me fight that man? Wouldn't it have been better to make me slip him some money and send him off? Did you really want to judge my power in action? That's one part of it, but it isn't everything. I wanted to give him some sort of excuse to leave. At least on the surface, they're in charge. He encountered our resistance and was forced to settle things with a fine. That's the way they have to do things in order to make money. I see. They're very crafty. Well, every guild has its own way of looking at things. Is that why these conflicts happen? Like I said earlier, you don't need to worry. The Magus Covenant doesn't get involved in any of that. Let those dodos battle amongst themselves. Eleanor, it seems there's a bit of an issue with our magical experiment. Hmm. Did something arise during the magical conversion process? 
Yes, please excuse me for disturbing you during your meeting with the guest. No, things have happened just as they should. The responsibility is mine. Please excuse me, Isabel, but I have to leave for a moment. That's no problem. You should take a look around the laboratory. Feel free to play with anything lying around. See you then. A look around the lab. Ugh, what an awful tale. I've come to another world, been separated from my companions, and almost lost my will to live. Grimoires, elixirs, and experimental implements. My curiosity's killing me. Well, I did get permission. I'm going to investigate a bit until she gets back.